Early. Wait, it's moving day. Welcome or welcome back, long time no see. Happy winter, happy December as well. I can't believe tea has gone so quickly. I have no idea why I came out here without a hat or gloves because it's freezing. So I'm gonna make this intro quick so I don't freeze, obviously. As I've mentioned probably way too many times at this point, I'm moving barns and today's the day I'm actually gonna do that. I'm moving from the wonderful Moonglade Equestrian Centre, which is the place I was showing in the intro, to a barn in Fergrove. So the first job I have to do is load some of the horses into the trailer and slowly but surely ferry them to the new barn. Well, the actual first job I have to do is go and get them all from the field. So I'm going to do that first. Sorry that was really quick, but I don't really want to bore you by just spending all of my time in this video just showing you me loading up the horses. So I'm going to skip that part, you don't need to see me driving back and forth. I'm going to skip to probably about an hour or two when I've actually gotten to the barn and show you around, give you an update, etc etc. I put on gloves and hats since it's absolutely freezing, as I said I would before, but we finally made it to the wonderful Fergrove. I'm so excited to move here after months of waiting, and I think we're going to have a wonderful time living here. I currently have Whisper and Jupiter, my two personal horses, in my trailer, but before I load them off, I'm going to go and talk to the owner of the barn first, to first of all let her know I'm here, in case she didn't see me driving in, but also to check which stalls are mine, so I know where to put my horses, along with pastures and things like that. This is Felicity, the owner of the barn here at Fergrove. I talked to her for a bit and introduced myself and she told me the basics of what I need to know about the barn and the horses, etc. She also later on showed me where the pastures and stalls are, so now I know where I can put my horses. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go and unload my two horses that I have with me. This is a very talky vlog, I'm sorry about that, I'm just trying to cram all the information into one video. But if you've seen my other videos, you'll probably recognise those four horses which I just showed. Whisper and Jupiter, my personal horses, and Apples and Fox, who were less than horses. I officially own those four horses, but if you've seen me before, you'll know that I have a few more horses than that. Including Bananas, my adorable little lesson pony, who I'm unfortunately not bringing him with me as I've never actually owned him and he still lives at my old barn. Fortune and Cookie aren't coming for the same reason I don't own them. As well as that, since I don't own this barn, I'm not running the lesson program anymore. So what am I gonna do with Apples and Fox? 
well, I probably won't have time to write and look after four horses, so I'm allowing staff and boarders and whoever at the barn to borrow and ride them both. Don't worry though, I will still ride them and they are still mine, and all of my horses will be getting a bit more spotlight since now I have less choice on who to feature in videos. Well, I'll admit that's not completely true, since with a new barn comes new horses. No, I didn't buy any, I'm not made of money. But there are a few new faces I need to introduce you to. But as I said, it will mainly be my four horses featured in my videos. But speaking of new faces, I do have two horses that the barn owner has been kind enough to let me introduce you to in this video. So let's go say hi! This is Tango, she's an adorable Welsh pony mare who has a bit of an attitude, or so I've been told. But to be honest, you don't need to spend much time around her to notice that. She was putting her ears back at Whisper as I was leading him in, and I've heard she likes escaping her stall quite a bit. But despite that, she can be lovely, and she's quite a barn favourite, and has a big personality. I'm unfortunately too big to ride her, but I think she would be really fun, ignoring the fact I've been told how much she likes to buck. And this is Domino, who, if you couldn't tell, is an Arab. He is the newest addition to the barn before me, I believe, and before coming here, he hasn't done much, so he's quite green. He's six years old and not the safest to ride, but he tries his best not to do anything naughty. I saw a small part of someone riding him as I was driving in, and he does look lovely, but he spooks a lot and is quite unsure about everything, so could use some training. After a few months or so, I'm sure Domino will be a wonderful horse. So they are the two horses I'm allowed to introduce you guys to, Domino and Tango. I've been kindly offered to ride Domino in a few days down at Starshine Ranch in their arena for some schooling, which I will definitely be filming and putting that in my next video, whatever that will be. But unfortunately, I can't really ride today since we've just moved and we're still settling and things like that. But yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know in the comments, okay? Thank you very much. I'm gonna let you guys go now. I'm sorry it's a shorter one, but I do have a poll from a while back that you guys want shorter videos more frequently than just longer ones, like once a month. And I know I haven't been very consistent, but I'm planning to change that. I know I say that every single time, but like, let's call it a New Year's resolution. I will be more consistent with my videos. But with everything being said, I'm gonna let you guys go now if you haven't already clicked off, which you haven't if you're hearing this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you hopefully in my next video. I can't wait to see what we can do at my new barn. Thank you so much for watching, bye!